Jamash Senshi, sorry for the hold up. I woke up quite late and I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think I'm just gonna go and beat those TCG challenges another time, among other things. That should be an idea. We'll just see. Dispatch again. Thank you. So I actually in a bit of a fugue state basically last night. Figured out some teams that would work for clearing the two remaining challenges and actually went and got the platinums. So I'm just gonna show off how I got them. Not the same as showing off a first time clear, but you know, if it works, it works. Go over there, and what can we grab? We can grab... Transit Resin. And Artifact Potions. Okay. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Let's go over and let's do my comms real quick, and then go... Alright, boys, so the big thing is that I will also probably want to do my weekly bosses today just to get them through and over with but that shouldn't be a problem wouldn't imagine that would be all that much trouble ooh rain okay mm -hmm. cool that's uh reactions then I will simply do this real quick Hello there, hello. Ruin, attack me, drop the relic, I find it, search all over the place, sure. Store it in the box. Empty box. Just check real quick. And this right here has much protective ability. Yeah, we'll be chilling. Search for the item. Go down this way. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. One, two. Every words, nothing. Let's head back. Okay. Oh, all right. And monsters. Great. So it actually didn't matter what we chose. A box. Sit up and take it back, and yeah, cultural relics. Okay. And the commission where you inadvertently helped the treasure hoarders out. Okay, then. And just go up here. Thank you. Ooh, alright. Thank you, thank you, and yeah. Alright, cool. The one safe with me. Yeah. Good joke. Then we can get the little line model with one. Okay. This way. What do you think? Ooh. Did not mean to push myself the other way like that. Come on. Ooh. Lots of them right here. Honestly, eventually I probably might want to actually do artifact farming routes. This is on eventually. Okay. Come on, come on. Just gonna... Over here. Where are these guys at? Cool, nice. And cannot... Alright, alright, and... Mmm, we didn't get the fire. Wanted just water, well, whatever. Come on. Okay. Other ones are coming over here. Thank you. The vaporize did not do all that much. Still decent, but... Percentiles is tough. Okay, there we go, and... Nothing left is going to be that guy over there. Hi! Cool. There we are. What a transport board room? Wow. Okay. 
really taking their time and spending mine. Mm. Over here is this. Right. Cool. And oh, that did not hit. Okay. Mm hmm. All right then. Thought I would be able to hit a bit more effectively. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Keep on slashing up and ooh, baby. Cool. Lovely. Okay. Grab a little bit of this real quick if we felt like it. Grass seed and can I a little bit closer? Okay, we have narrowly avoided not get avoided getting hit. And the other is well. Let's come along your way and Well, we can lose some energy, I suppose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyone else coming? Just you over here. Hello then. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Greetings, how are you doing? I got on a bit early because I need to drive my mother to a doctor's appointment later today. How are you? So I, last time I messed up beating some TCG challenges because they were too spicy for me and I didn't have a good team to beat them with. So I'll probably just go and do that now. And then we have you. Oh! Oh, nice! I... I'm not rushing it. Maybe I should be. But I'm focusing on getting through... Trying to do a relatively completionist run of the base game first. Just to see... How I can beat the standard game with my silly equal stats build. It's going decently well so far. I ended up... I've been trying to do everything in Limgrave before I move on, which I thought might not work all that well, but the big thing is I was able to get Bloodhound's Fang, and it really is good enough to just deal with everything I couldn't before, because the Grafted Sons and Prince of Hero's Grave and the... Oh... The Dragon King Soldier and Seifer River were giving me a lot of trouble. And then Bloodhound Stank just went and utterly trivialized them. It is interesting comparing the sort of body part damage system of Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 to say the stance damage system of Elden Ring. Because the stance damage system, among other things, just makes makes any kind of heavy weapon really, 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 really good. More than they might have expected or wanted. Because if he can just reliably stagger enemies for criticals and prevent follow-ups, poise damage with that too, you know, everything becomes significantly easier. You know, even if you might have really good DPS sometimes from stuff like... Oh, Rivers of Blood Corpse Power. Oh, full faith. So, what spells do you usually stick to? Because since I've been... I've been using stuff like the... Stab boosting crystal tears and talismans. Right now, I just have access to scar seals. <laughs> In order to buff up my stats, use specific items and spells. Oh, nice. I don't want to say too much, but from what I've heard, there might be some spells that you really, really like in the DLC. But as I was saying. I should probably heal up real quick. As I was saying, I've been making decent use of Flame of Frenzy, which I got yesterday from Weeping Peninsula. It is a little slow at times, but I've been able to use it to counter the dodging on certain enemies because I was fighting the Ancient Hero of Zamori yesterday, and it liked to try to dodge projectiles, but the range, the horizontal range of I guess horizontal variance might be a better term, but Flame of Frenzy was strong enough that it was usually just getting hit even after it dodged. I don't. I, they're a legitimate part of the game, but I personally find it more fun to play without them. 
I'm not gonna get all elitist, especially since I do literally use magic extensively. But I find it more fun personally to manage aggro. I do- sometimes I do feel that I might be missing out on a part of the game because... So much of the upgrades, in particular the Hero's Graves and the Catacombs, are really based around giving you materials with which to upgrade Spirit Ash Summons. But at least I still get to read the lore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's about dividing up aggro. That's what I've heard about a lot of the DLC bosses. Is that they're incredibly relentless to the point where it almost seems like they were designed to be fought with a Summon or a Spirit Ash. And I do find that interesting from the standpoint of you know, they put them in the game, they intended you to use them. But I think a lot of people still marry to the idea that, you know, you're supposed to basically take a big bonking stick and fight solo with no armor and no magic. Which, to be fair, isn't necessarily all that hard of a strategy because of the stance damage system in... Stance damage system in Elden Ring, which, you know, in other games it might be a bit different because bosses are a bit less staggerable, but in Elden Ring... A heavy weapon build is generally going to be one of the better options in the game. And I, I think calling anything in a Souls game, quote unquote, the easier option, is a little bit callous and a little bit silly because nothing is going to be easy. Things are just going to be less difficult. Yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of people comparing it directly to Ring City, which I am excited for. Because Ashes of Ariandel was fun. But it was very... It felt a little one-note and drab. It was interesting to think about. It was still fun, but it was all... You know, it was one relatively small area. With... Really... One boss in a second if... You found a way to drop down. Because the rope ladder thing is not immediately obvious. And maybe I should have known because of the way Catacombs of Carthus worked. But I did actually have to look up how to get to Champion's Grave Tender. And... Ah. Interesting. Wait, so... I've been spoiled on the bosses. Do you know about the bosses yet? Do you know, do you know about the bosses yet? You know, we're going to try it with Thesley on there. Because... From what I've seen, they look pretty cool, but a lot of people have commented on how the lore of everything seemed a little incoherent. And which one, which one is that? Lore is a little incoherent. At this point, I think everyone has been spoiled at least a little by Twitch thumbnails or YouTube thumbnails, so... I am not gonna get mad- I'm not gonna get mad at you based on what you say. Okay, so let's switch out the party real quick. Put in Rathesley again. Should we, who do we want to put in? Oh yeah, I'm really excited for Rolana, especially because you know, because one, it's basically a Pontiff rematch, and Pontiff is and was simply one of the best fights in Dark Souls Three. But the prospect of maybe being able to actually use something akin to Pontiff's dual wielding. The fact that, and a lot of mods like Convergence do try to rectify it in some way, the fact that we can't dual wield effectively the Pontiff swords, that we can't combine the Pontiff swords into a paired weapon in Dark Souls 3 really does stand out to me as one of the sort of, not really lowlights, but sort of, you know, maybe the game should have let you do that. Maybe the game should have let you do that. It's still a lot of fun, though. But as I was saying... Let me just see. She does not have Fab on her right now. Also, just the fact that there's a very good chance, not saying too much, that those twin swords would be a sort of ultra-quality weapon in that strength, dex, intelligence, and faith, if they're anything like Sword of Night and Flame. So in general, I'm just very excited for... It all to happen. Let me just see. Thank you. And go for that. And okay, come on. Take you and one. Ooh, all right. Put that off. Hit and one, two, three, and okay, nice. And we could. Ooh, interesting. 
And slam. Oh, but the the burn melt did not actually do the trick. Oh, because the Shen has stuff. Well, in the end, I'll live. But, like I was saying before, I wanted to beat everything sort of in and under Wingrave before moving on to... Moving on to Stormbell and then Illyrinia. And the funny thing about it is that I activated the Grace and Smoldering Church to go fight Anastasia, Tarnish the Requisite Invader. And it was really funny because I'd gone over to, to that area in the first place to try to get to Summon Water quickly so I could talk to D before he moves to Round Table Hold. And what is that? What's the different... different reasoning? Let me just see... Dendro damage, that should work. In the end, I would not call myself all that different. I find it lots of fun to take on a good challenge. Just see. Hmm. In the end, most a lot of the enjoyment behind a Souls type game is just high degree of challenge anyway, so. I don't think there's anything abnormal about that. Go down here and put this on everybody and put this down. Slash you up and thanks. Cool. Nice. There we go. Cool. Nice. Okay. Yeah, but it is very, very interesting that they had special bonuses special buffs and these bounties based on all kinds of elements nearly from the start but right from the start but it won't be until the final patch before the start of not one that we actually have a fontaine character of every element it is also really funny honestly that we still don't have a geo Sumeru character no damage Shodia. i think I think that is honestly the case for most people, that there are people who do it for the sake of bragging rights, but in the end, I like to think that the fun of it is of its own merits of just overcoming a tough challenge is what motivates me. I will not lie though, it does feel nice. There always is a little bit of an aspect of, you know, Wanting to be the hard boss and show off a little, but it's not the only thing. And I'm weird. Okay, and huh, it's strange. Well, all right. I'm just gonna hit and both of them proc to hyper boom. Then can I? There we go. That I feel like it was the water getting in my way somehow. Interesting. Oh, maybe it could have been electro charge issues. I'm not quite sure. Mm hmm. There we go, there we go. Yeah. In the end, I will say that even though my build has not been optimized for it, I do kind of feel like I've already gotten a lot more use out of incantations than sorceries. I did play through sort of the main quest line of the game, is in just Lane Tell, then the Fire Giant, and then Far Missoula, because Genshin 4.2 was coming out, and I heard that the Hydro Mimic was basically based off of Morgoth. Yeah, yeah. I... When I'm at my best, I'm mostly the same way. I think it is... It's what you are supposed to enjoy about the game. Just see. I got Cutching C3 last time, so we're back at zero. It's gonna put me back at one pity... Let's do this thing. Oh, and yep, we got a purple. That's nice. And we... Oh, well, we already had C6 Kaya, so... There we go. You know, if I could pick and choose, that would have been a Kirara. That's still okay. Now we have 44 rolls from Star Glitter, if I need to cash those in. So I can guarantee... Without a doubt, I can literally guarantee Sigwin 180 rolls or more if I really need them. 
Let's do those requests real quick. So the question is, I'd also like to go back to Petricor and explore around there. And also, oh, there's a little bit in between Samaru and Fontaine now that got added last patch, which there's only one quest in the entire, I mean, one chest in the entire area around here, I think. Lots of enemies around, and I like to fight them just for the sake of it. I'm just seeing. Back over this way. Yeah. Mm -mm. Go back to the requests. Tour and Hydro Phantasms. Milk and Clockwork Mecha. Okay. Cool. Do some of that first, but the more Mora I accumulate, the better. Big question to me about the DLC is... Because from what I've seen, it's not even... People don't know for sure yet. Yeah, the wiki keeps adding more and more data mined and found items. For your sample service to be added in, but... Whether there's gonna be new highest dex requirement and highest strength requirement weapons... Because it would be interesting if Giant Crusher and Hand of Millennia stayed the highest strength and dex requirements in the game. Because in Ring City, at least, they added Wado's Great Hammer and Frayed Blade, increasing the strength and dex ceilings in terms of requirements, quote-unquote. But I haven't heard anything as of yet. But we'll see. People are maybe just... Holding back, I'm not quite sure. Either way, I've, I've heard a lot about the verticality of the Land of Shadow, and that does excite me. Because a lot, one thing that a lot of people talk about via the, via, via the world design of the original Dark Souls 1, and therefore something people have talked about a lot when talking about potential new Souls games, like that one Spellbound rumor. It's just the verticality of everything. And just how integrated the world is in a vertical sense. And how... Mm, I did not get that back. Okay. Tainted Hydro Phantasms. Oh, oh, Zen. Hoping there wouldn't? Because... You wouldn't want to have to spec your build into weapons instead of just spells? Or... What about it specifically? Interesting... Over here, hit with Sethos, and... Cool, over there, and... Get that, and... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two... There we go! She... Really good against that... Mimic, but actually, it's a Tulpa? Not quite sure. In the end, she's not an amazing Hyper Boom Trigger. So, suppose in that case, most of what I've got, what I need to get done for the week, is through. It would just be. I guess the question is should I go around Petrico first, talking to the people first, or. Go to the tavern for the TCG stuff first because about an hour and a half I'll do the weekly bosses real quick. Then I'll have enough resin for that. But before that, I guess I'll just go to Petricor right now. Wouldn't hurt me. Yes, the question is what characters I want to use to run around with right now. I guess just. New characters from these past patches. And then, well, in terms of speed, in terms of speed, well, Wander would be oh, probably the best for transport in general, but should still be fine. But there's a lot of dialogue here that I just did not get ever, period. Let's focus on the quest and stuff. Fair. I think a lot of it is what else you would use runes on other than levels. 
in the DLC, because they do have their own separate attack power system, but at the very same time, it's sort of... If everything is a side grade rather than an upgrade, it might be good for balance. But especially given the high difficulty of stuff in the DLC, which will inevitably be the case. I like that. I like that you have... You know, a, a sort of personal philosophy and gimmick, because that's basically what I do with my cool stats built at this point. What I've been doing. And I really do just enjoy that way of playing the game. You know, having more tools, but having to use all those tools. And that is one thing I found that's very, very interesting, looking at at least the base game's bosses and major enemies, that, generally speaking, the only time something is weakest to an element is that it's weakest to either fire or holy. Aside from the initial tree sentinel, I don't really remember anything that is specifically weak to lightning, which kinda sucks as someone who likes using magic, but it also means that it's part of why weapon-based builds are really, really good in Elden Ring. I would not say that magic has been an overpowered option since past Dark Souls 2, starting in Dark Souls 3, enemies were good enough at gap closing that the projectile advantage of magic was, frankly, largely negated. A faster game negates a lot of the advantage that magic used to have in, say, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2. You know, having played Dark Demon Souls a couple of days ago, which I've already spent more time in Elden Ring than I did in Demon Souls, and I'm not even past the first area. Wait, wait, in Elden Ring? The, the wiki might be wrong, but the wiki says that dragons are weak to pure specifically and resistant to lightning in most cases. Which I do find very amusing in the sense of... The, the fact that dragons in Elden Ring use lightning and resist it is at least in part definitely a meta in-joke about... You know, dragons being weak to lightning in pretty much every previous Souls game, and wanting to sort of surprise the player. But, as I was saying, lightning and magic damage in particular aren't really ever particularly useful. And in the case of magic, I think it's to balance out the fact that it's also never particularly bad. Except, I suppose, against Renala, who you can just use Roxling on. Given that Unless you spec into other stats, your only damage option as a magic user is either magic damage or standard physical. Ascari to the Doge, the Duke. Please push for this for sure, and you are. Ascari, excellent. See the Doge, a new navigation route, new sea routes. Sitter, it's happiness, rule in the small town, do it themselves, think they're happy, more idiotic people in the entire world, never seen the outside world at all. This entertains such folly, own happiness, that's an ancient hand to be forgotten, once with the spina, cooperate, direction, shipping routes, and breathe new life into the home. Interestingly enough, is that during the initial part of the world quest for this, this area when everyone's possessed, there are a couple of additional objectives you can do that give you some money and talent books, which you'll miss if you progress the quest line at the point where they're free to mind control. But some, the original people, you know, the original forms before brainwashing will just give you those rewards afterwards with special dialogue options that don't actually have any follow-up from you. It's just a chest icon and a short remark on your on the player's part. This is a way to make sure that rewards aren't permanently missable. Yeah. I'm wondering about that, too. I haven't seen anything to tell me one way or the other. I guess the big thing is just a question of whether there will be better talismans for defense for the sake of something like Mimic Tear. As silly as it sounds. I think it would be hard, for better or worse, for them to make a summon that could really ever outclass Mimic Tear. That's for sure, and you are. Oh, oh, new sea roads, and oh, right, we already saw that already. Pick the second option to close that off. And goodbye. See you. Pleasant time. Too many talkers and few thinkers could be a bit much. Interesting. 
So he's not exactly fond of the other people here. The big thing, though, is that I should probably stick to keep it during daytime, because nighttime will send a lot of people back indoors a lot of the time. Hmm. I keep saying time. But... <clears throat> the big thing is that I do want to run eventually. My dream is to play through more or less the entire game in co-op with other people using the co-op mod. But, you know, probably have a full six-person adventuring party, so to speak. Because the original co-op limit the co-op mod before they figured out a way to bypass it. Six. Because that is the ultimate... Oh, there are fish here. Was, at least formally, the full limit for just how many players could be in a world at a time because of, you know, two cooperators, two invaders, and one hunter. So they had to piggyback off of that and anything new? No, nothing new. Southern Island, small and south. Scenery is lovely and the fish are, fish are plentiful. You know, there is nothing wrong with a good bit of fishing. But as I was saying, since six was the limit, I thought, okay, there could be six separate sort of character builds, which coincidentally would align pretty well with... Well, five out of six of them would align pretty well with the Final Fantasy XIV party archetypes, which, given that a lot of my friends are 14 people, which I do want to play through 14 eventually, at least the main storyline, just because going through the Final Fantasy series is something I want to do eventually. Doing it in order would be silly, but it's probably how I'd want to do it, too. But, uh, oh, but like I was saying before, magic definitely is very overpowered in Demon Souls. I beat that game in 20 hours, and without magic, that would not have been possible. But, basically, there would be a Vigor Endurance tank, wearing heavy armor, carrying a shield, and most importantly, just having Datacar's well-equipped. I mean, Shabrir's well-equipped in order to just eat aggro. And it is, it might be a bit different in practice, but the fact that all you need to really tank is, and there we go, we got one. Just equip a talisman and aggro will draw instantly. Hello! In that case, I'm gonna go do TCG stuff now. We've reached critical mass. I am also just exploring around. I didn't get the dialogue, the NPCs here in Petrichor. Just did not do that last patch. So I'm going to do that today to poke around the new world areas added between Samira and Fontaine that aren't really exploration oriented. But as I was saying, there would be a, an endurance and vigor tank, which is really high HP, wielding heavy armor, a heavy great shield, a warrior, sort of melee DPS with strength, quote unquote range DPS, but not really with... Dexterity, magic DPS with intelligence, a healer, quote unquote, with faith, but they also they would also have, of course, buffs and good damage too, with other damage types, and then you know, the exception to everything would be the arcane build, which I would run, especially because I think it would be the hardest to stat outright and probably the least durable on its face. And that would just be its own separate thing, really. Okay, cool. Let's grab these real quick. More of this. Flashing bay. I guess the question is, when am I going to get... The fishing achievement. So I don't do a crazy amount of fishing, and I'm not rushing it. But whenever I'm exploring and I see... A fishing hole glowing, I tend to try to fish it out. If I'm there already. It... It is really, really funny, actually. It's having a lot of fish. No, no, the one for 2,000 two catches? No, I never rushed that. I had no interest in rushing that. Because it was good. It's, you know, because it's the kind of thing you get you get on your own eventually as they release more kinds of fish, more fishing-related weapons. It's not the kind of thing you ever need to... You don't need to rush it. It makes no sense, too. Yeah. You probably won, didn't you? Or did you get it? Hmm. Over here. 
Let me go. Well, there you go. Congrats. And I'm pretty sure I still don't have it. Yeah. I should probably get it by the end of now on, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, I... I need to get that one eventually, but again, I'm not all that interested in rushing it. It... It's the kind of thing I could do reasonably in a week or so. But, you know, one of those things where it's sort of only when you feel like it, you know? But... I managed to figure out two decks of my own that actually worked for the challenges, so I'm just going to try to show off how I already beat them. Yeah. So I have to switch back between Thesley and Nuviet here. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go over this way, and what will we manage to get? Yeah, it's a pretty big yawn, actually. Honestly. Hmm. Question is, what could I? Hmm. Yeah, I probably can't run parametric this time. Uh... Well, actually, let me see. Parametric and I think. Yeah. Hmm. Can't run parametric, I'm gonna have to stick to this, but the chilling penalty will work. And then we can punch down a couple of others. Yeah, yeah. Should use this. Terror for the evil. Eh, this is pretty okay. This one is a bit finicky, I will say. So I kinda wonder sometimes how I wanna run this. Hmm, interesting. Well, I can use this again, actually, immediately. Nice. Then I... Hmm. How many do I need? I just need one die in order to make that happen, so... Let's give me a crowd die, and... Oh, well, whatever. That's a shame. Use this first real quick. Cool. Nice. Then I think actually I'll switch to Nuviat. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Start the next round. How this works in Marsha say is. Hmm. That's the question. Wonder who that artifact would be best on. I think honestly. Hmm. Question is who gets in and how. This on him. Yeah, we'll ju we'll just go for that. We'll just try it over there. And what if I? Mm, that did not quite work. Yeah, that works kind of badly. Oh, but actually, we should get hit, and that should be one more die. Gonna hit me, right? Yeah, there we go. Cool. To wand of Gamelon. That's amusing. I like that. Because presumably it would be because... You know, Zelda is playable and has a staff instead of anything else. Another dot. We got a card. I switch over and we should be able to freeze with Hesley. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, we got cash flow supervision. That could be good. Hmm, let me think. Let me think about this. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Need more ice and oh, this could be some trouble. Come on then. Ooh, tough. Alright. Oh, well we got healing, but at least six HP remaining. Okay, so we're in an okay position. An okay position. Well it I think it is interesting to think about. So I do think it is kind of undeniable that they wanted to make this one sort of more of a quote-unquote girl game, for lack of a better term. And I mean that in an entirely neutral way. But I think one thing is that clearly isn't low production value, which 
a lot of quote-unquote girl games tend to be, which is why a lot of people tend to be a little skeptical of them. Okay, and... Oh, but I need... Mm, mm, not great. Well, I... Let's switch over to Nubia then, and then... See if we can win by spamming. Spamming burst hits. I wonder, I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but he lost penalty. That is some trouble. Mm -hmm. I see. Double strike. Ooh, alright. And then we. Hmm, interesting. I am a little worried about this. Just a little. Just a little. I don't want to make this happen. Only you're. I think it's that. Yeah, you're gonna hit and actually what we should do is sack with Asley. It's gonna be kind of sad. Yeah, okay. There we go, and play this on you and then just use a bunch of these, sure. I... This team worked last night, but it's a bit finicky. It is more than a little finicky. Then we'll try that again. Thank you. Mm. This is something. Oh, a squirrel is climbing on the outside of my window. And we... Mm, yeah, it... This one did not work. Gonna have to try it again. But I did manage to get a platinum with this team another time. I'd like to show it off. I mean, you saw that I got... Show that I got the platinum already. I guess the big thing would be... Gamblers, maybe? Maybe. Hmm. It's an idea. Well, in that case, actually... Let's just run it like this. And hopefully... Cash flow, Marshall say... That's the question. How can I run this? Hmm. Cash flow supervision, though. But as I was saying before, a lot of people are innately suspicious whenever a company puts out a quote-unquote girl game. Because generally, they don't invest as much time and effort as they would a quote-unquote boy game, for lack of a better term. And there's often a bit of perceived disrespect. I think a lot of it was that, you know, back when that new Princess Peach came out, there was a lot of weirdness and being very hush-hush from Nintendo about, you know, actually saying who made it. You know, they seemed very eager to not say, you know, what the actual studio who'd made it was, and it was just very, okay, but why? You know, why are you doing that, though? Let's hit and... Okay, cool. Question is... Mm, but getting cash flow supervision on here would be difficult. Okay, so we'll get cards and dice. So we took damage and we healed. Which means we gotta die and... Mm, and a card as well. Big thing is, we Marshall say I should be really good here because we should be able to actually get the burst off. That's the question. That's the thing. Mmm, but putting a new Viet, though, is the other thing. Let's just go for the hit. See how this happens. Mmm, -hmm. Okay. Some gamblers could be useful. The big thing is... Well, actually, that's what I'll do then. I will switch over to new Viet, using the Osdell Legend, and put gamblers on him, and then... Yeah, yeah, this should help out. This should, in theory, help out. But the cash flow supervision is... Let me think. That might actually be... <laughs> be a bit better on New Viet than... Well, either way, I think it should be good on both of them. Thank you, thanks. Ooh, hmm. Let's try putting this on him. Why not? 
Then we push your buttons, okay, but mm, go for that. Should be able to. There we go, we got a source water droplet. And the gambler's proc to successfully. Ooh, okay. Hmm. A little bit of healing. Then we'll try that. A little bit of that healing back. And mmm. Now the question is. What do I do next? I. There we go. More big damage. But. Mmm. Wouldn't be able to change anything, is the thing. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. I might want to switch out to Rathesley then and put in yeah, this should hopefully work, but I'm not sure. The big thing is just finding a way to make use of all of my dice every round. Paimon is... I really should have taken Paimon out of the deck, honestly. Well, we'll see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. Big thing is the stuns right now are not going to be doing their thing, really. And then we'll... Mmm, hard. Tough. Thank you. Got the heal. Mmm, this could be okay. Let's switch that out. Thank you. Hmm, interesting. Let's just freeze you. And then, the damage down there will be... A little frightening though. And then we'll use this. Thanks. Go for first or something. Got that going, but we're gonna get struck. Yeah, that is some trouble. We got one more of those. Get a bit of healing off that and use the burst actually. Just use that. There we go. Switch out to Nuviet, actually, and use... Yeah, probably use his burst. Thank you, cool. Nice, there we go, cool. The question is, though, to what degree I'll be able to live and survive all the hits I'm going to end up taking. Hmm, <laughs> this should be good. This should be usable. Then the question is... Mm, how about the rest? Mmm... Switching is always tough. What you gonna do? And... Oh my goodness. That is... Something. Alright, that ends. Mmm... But we're gonna get struck by the burst is the thing. Yeah, okay. At least we got those. So Rathesley can bring it home. Rest in peace, Nuvia. Hardly Nuvia Nui. And there's that totally useless source water droplet now. Oh, that said, eventually if they had Sigwin, presumably she would be able to make use of them too. So now we just punch. Cool. Yeah, well. He had to, he had to take one for the team. A good captain goes down with his ship. I... Let's play the talent card just for fun. Cool. Alright. Thank you, thank you. Maybe I would have liked to actually have had the skin on for that, but there are too many. Too many skins to buy. Fair. Well, the, the, the captain always has to stay alive with his ship. Okay, so the deck I actually ran for this was... You'll like this. You'll like this. It was a Kave deck. Should work just fine. So we don't need to switch anything. Let's use that. Cool. Big thing is figuring out how to get... Xing Chao and Kave's bursts up ASAP. Mm hmm one of that is getting discarded. Okay, cool. Just use that. Have to proc a bloom on this guy. Boku ni makasete kure. Boku ni makasete kure. 
Use this to get the dendro damage from you. The burst scan. Kave is just very, very strong too. And there we go for big damage. Cool. Kairagi Dancing Thunder. Then we can just go over here. Actually, I guess the question is. Do I want to. Well, it would purge. And frankly, I probably want. If I can actually make Xing Chao die when I want him to, I'm probably a bit better off. Is the thing. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lenny card, actually. The big thing is I put as many high cost cards in here as possible. The Lenny one is actually probably not precisely what I want. Okay, then we do that, and we'll sub damage to me. And then, let's see. Mona will take a little bit of damage, but we're mostly trying to sack her, honestly. Use that for a free switch into Xing Zhao for the next turn. Switch is a fast action. Change this out. Go for another burst scan. There we go, cool. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, we just, we're not really using the cards for anything. Here we go, cool. Switch over to the Fiery Kairagin. Then we switch back to Mona, so we get the Overload to force a switch back into Xing Chao, and then just use their Burst to take it home. And we should be good. Should be more than fine. Cool. Mm-hmm. This is a decent enough deck. Then, just like that, just like that. Mm -hmm. This is the burst, proc this. Thank you. Yeah, they're just gonna kill. Pretty handily. Then we can use Kabe's burst. Get a number of things going. And it should be more than fine. Boku ni makaste kure. Here's that. Get that through. Thank you. Burst scan is going, so those blooms are going to start hitting. And you're doing your thing. You're just going to grab that, but that won't do much for you now, will it? Go for a hit. Trigger another bloom, and therefore... Just kill at the start of the next round. Yeah. And that'll be... Yep, there we go. He is pretty crazy. Kave is actually very, very good. I do find it quite funny, actually, that a lot of characters who tend to be very weak in the base game are very strong in TCG. It's a funny kind of balance. That definitely does not help them in any kind of monetary way. So I... Hmm, part of me does want to show off Kaveh's burst animation. Yeah, I kind of wanted to get some of those before we actually did. Well, I could run a few of those challenges one extra time. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's kind of what I'm... Kind of what I mean, that since you can't get... They don't make any money off of TCG. Which means it's very, very interesting to me that they try as decently hard as they do to keep it balanced. Let's see, where is this? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's just run these through real quick and then I want to poke around the area between Mondstadt and Samaru. I mean, Fontaine and Samaru. I... Ooh, I almost forget how I run this one. This should be fine. Well, what this is, is basically you get... Toma's burst up as quickly as possible, and then... Oh! Yes. Mushroom! Yeah, okay. It's not bad. Should be fine. Hmm. -hmm. Figure this one out. Well, okay. Hmm. -hmm. 
but this is on tour not a guess it was a blazing barrier but then I guess oh hmm, hmm that's the question probably put this on Charlotte sure okay for reward damagers healed interesting go for your hit thank you cool uh but the feather spreading is gonna impact me and that's tough hmm interesting interesting okay keep on moving first could be nice to use and I, mm -hmm. okay all right that down, switch over to you. Thank you. What are you gonna do? Or are you gonna use it? Thank you. Okay, cool. Oh well. Use that. This right now. Get that melt off, and then yet. I'm sure it will be running a funny comp next time. Switch back into her after that, and. Thank you, thank you. Switch so I can get the burst off. Thank you, thank you. Oh, but we only have so many uses of that. Oh well. Hmm, but I'm sure what normals are going to be crucial. Shizakashi. There we go. We should be able to deal a good amount of damage now. Oh, and oh, that melted that. That was fun. Didn't even think about that. Yeah, but Silhouette is on there too, and it should help some things. The on-field Charlotte. The on-field Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And okay. No damage yet, but it should still be okay. It's a shame that I didn't have the skill to use, but whatever. I will survive. Hmm. Majestic Dance, and probably should use this eventually. Yeah, sure. If it's here, it's there. Then we proc another Burning. Then I guess we switch to Toma. Sure. Cool. Why didn't get another Melt off or something? Yes. Yeah, but if I had the skill card, I could've. Uh, immediately doing a bit more damage but it's life that's life thank you and did we yeah we got more energy out of that too insane fun oh but also just can be a bit finicky with making sure she's the reaction trigger yeah a thousand floating dreams is good on charlotte in that case hmm so run this and we'll get more damage from the burst too Let's try that out, and yep, big damage, big damage. Thank you, Rightful Reward. Go for one more hit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Cool. That's, that is one of those, then. Not, just not my day. How sad. Then we go to Chingzo. See how well this one works. Then I let me just yeah check that deck. I hmm. yeah, and it is still going up. They did change the way that proficiency rewards work in TCG weekly challenges. That's good. These are all pretty good to have. So, ooh, not bad. Oh, but we don't have rightful reward, is the thing. Hmm, okay. Alright. Go for- ooh, hmm, I'm gonna have to use both of these, most likely, if I want to get skills up. But, oh, right, that- Two less elemental dice once per round, but- oh, I could actually- That's funny to think about. And more dice. Fun. That is a very nice one to use, just because they're purely free dice, but... Hmm, interesting. 
Oh, all right. All right, then. Mm. All of these would be useful in their own way, so I... Mm. Okay, then. I... Mm. All right. Okay, cool. A little bit of healing. The issue is just... Nothing else to really do with these cards at this point. Shouldn't matter all that much, but still. Mm. These two dice just doing nothing. Alright. Alright. Okay. Bit more from that, but... No real reactions triggered is the thing. Hmm. Guess I could've put Wyvern down, but still. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will... Just switch some of these out, I suppose. This is... More than a little troublesome. We'll go for that, and... Cool. Alright then, and... Gonna switch? Yeah, we're gonna switch. We need to switch one of these out, and then we can... Play this. Switch to... Charlotte and use a normal or something. There we go. Got a lot of those going. Cool. Switch out. Use... One of those. I'm gonna switch, or... Yeah, you switched. Okay, cool. Use that. Cool. And I can... Some of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next round, we'll use the healing one. Go with some others, but... Mmm. Oh, interesting. That would have dealt more damage, because this is the last one. Well, whatever. Okay, we're just gonna keep on hitting them. Okay. Go for this. Nice melt. Just make sure that stays out of the way. Hmm. And, ooh, alright. Alright then. That will kill. Thank you. Nice. A little bit of healing, but ooh, the. Right, right. We do have a. Shield point, but mm, that was a little troublesome. Okay. Move over to someone else, but for now we might be in some trouble. I guess the question is how I'd be able to get a free switch in or not on. Hmm. Okay. On Charlotte. Well, I'll live. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, but probably actually I'll take a hit. Tone my dot. I could use that for a free switch. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Okay, we got that, which is good. Hit with that there then, and okay. <laughs> and, ooh, hmm, interesting. I wonder how I feel about that. And they're just gonna attack again, so I. Hmm. Go for another quick hit. I. Interesting. Cool, I suppose. And then that will not quite kill. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Guess Sayu can bring it home. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Alright then. This was more trouble than I expected, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Mm -mm. Ripple Electro Edge. There we go. Do one quick normal to take you out. Mm -mm. Okay. It's fine, and then we just. Slap you with our sword and why not? Why not? Onso no Goku. Hey. Let's do that. A couple more for the week. Yeah. Okay. Completed. Send it to you as thanks for your aid. We have Ryla and then Barbara. Ryla, Barbara. 
get some water. Water's here. Okay. It's a silly team is done and dusted. I will be well and truly free. Oh, but Kujirai is not good because it would help the other guy as well. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right then. You know, maybe we want to try some that again. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Then that could maybe be useful, but most of these should go. Thank you. That. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yes. Yes. Mm, okay. Question is how I want to run the rest. That's a good starting hand. For certain. That's nice to have. I Hmm. Okay. That is not all that bad. So let's put that on you. Slap a blazing barrier down. And then Switch to Charlotte. Cool. Yeah, okay. She's like, Kashi. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What next round? What next round? Thanks, and that. Okay, cool. Let me take much damage then. Zuma boy. Popcorn. Get their round and just a couple of damage. Hoping out that rifle reward, but not that cool. No energy from that yet. Oh, well, alright. Mm hmm. Figure out how. Charlotte can reliably be the reaction trigger. Hmm. Use that real quick. Oh, but actually, we're going to be procking a reaction. Should put this on her now. Yeah. We use this and big damage, big damage. Thank you, thank you. Oh, but, mmm. Mm. If I had one more card, I could. That's tough. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, alright. That's there, but I would need... Oh, but I can't even do it anyway because the burst increase cost is not... I mean, burst cost decrease is not relevant here because I want to use it for Charlotte's skill this round. Okay, well, it's time for fun. Should own, oh, we got... Some dice from Vonorana, which is nice. Cool. Should be in a decent position to bring it home now, maybe. We'll see. Hmm. There we are, there we are. Pretty good. Let's just use this thing. And then we... Slap you. Got shield up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness. What's he gonna do next? That's the question. I. Mm hmm. None of the reactors that pull up can pull off is not going to be influenced by whether I use this thing. So I'm only going to be able, able to get two hits off with Charlotte. So I may as well put Tenacity down on her. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You're gonna switch. Okay. Whatever. Hmm. Well. That's okay. That is okay. But. Oh yeah, I'm not the one proc the reaction though. Hmm. 
And no damage even. Fine. Alright, so all I can do is just end the round now. That's a, that's a shame. And the element application. <laughs> it's the other thing. And I, okay, cool. Oh, and she just died to the, that effect. I didn't even think about that. Cool. Fun. That generated that dice, which is irritating. Big thing is we can immediately freeze her. Should be able to. Oh, and is that is that their kid Kuchibe or I don't know. Well whatever. Thank you. We're just gonna freeze for big damage. Cool. Nice. Cool. You're gonna switch, you're gonna switch, or you should probably switch. Yep, there we go. Twice per round, and nice! Good stuff. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm yeah. We can just hit one more time with one of these and kill. Get fire on you and then. Three from. Wait, what? Three? Oh, wait, cuz. Does rightful reward affect the damage of the. Oh, that's insane. If that's true, that makes Toma actually in actually ridiculous. I... okay. Well, we can use that for... quicker kill. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's normally... and there was no reaction being proctor, I don't think. Normally, if he... Scorching all your die. Should have just one pyro damage, but it dealt three. I guess that additional damage of the burst damage tag, which makes sense, but. I didn't think. Wow. It's actually insanely good. Toma with rightful reward is actually a ridiculous card. Hmm. So the question is, who would abuse him best? Abuse his abilities best. Alright. Then I will... Talk to Barbara. Shichi Shokan. Let's play and... Attack is... Yeah, yeah. Almost proficiency for this one. Cool. Yeah, the fact that... These count for proficiency right now, which I did not know, and they didn't really say anything about. Is very, very useful in terms of getting card proficiencies. They definitely change it because they realize how annoying it made. One of them getting the fact that kind of, kind of forced PvP. Hmm. Okay. Get this. Put some of these down, or what do we want to do now? What we want to do is put this on Barbara. We might wait. What? I did not. Well, whatever. I mean, I'm Charlotte. Messed up a little bit. Okay. Hmm. All right. You want no rightful reward. Okay. Put that down. And just... Go first next round. Oh, you gonna freeze me? Shouldn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What's your daughter? It is interesting how... Some of the characters just have incredibly vanilla skills that steal three of an elemental damage type. How much else? Oh, and we can just hit you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Fine by me. Hmm. 
question is what they're going to try to cleanse. Either way, let's proc this right now. We're good. Oh, and actually, interesting. Get a few more dice out of that. Switch over to Charlotte and interesting. Hmm. Actually, question is whether I'd be better off with. Hmm. Actually, probably. I don't know. Which would. Hmm. Is that anyway? Just uh, some of that going. I'll feel damage. I should probably actually save this. Deal more hits. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I got clear. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, but. Presumably, they'll fast action freeze in Akaya. Maybe. Mm -mm. This is certainly something. Yeah, I. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's use this. Do a big hit, you can use. Stellaris Phantasm or something? Or? Yeah, yeah. Kinda figured. I uh, interesting. Hmm. Maybe I could try getting a scroll going. If that interesting. Okay. Hmm. If we hit, we can use that and oh, int oh, hmm. I don't quite like that. It's a little. Little now what I intended, and okay. Well, he went to Barbara, so let's use this. Sure. Nice swirl. Cool. Well, if it works, it works. Hmm. Interesting. Still want to put myself in a position to get frozen again. This is the thing. No cleanse left. It's good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, the big question to me is if I put right forward on Toma now, would it influence the damage dealt by his burst? Or is there some sort of weird snapshotting system? And how would that even work? Okay, cool. Let's just go for some nice hits. Thank you. Kind of stuff is not going to work for you. And that deals three damage, and then so there does seem to be a snapshotting mechanic. That is actually incredibly interesting. Hmm. The fact that TCG is snapshotting is actually hilarious. It is honestly exactly the kind of thing you would expect. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right, then. Hmm. The question is just how many can he freeze? Switch to Toma, I'm just going to get frozen, but... Come on, hit me, hit me. Oh, alright, okay. Hmm. Another die, I just gotta... Toma's barrier up and then attack with his burst. Wow, okay. Interesting. Quite curious. Okay. Then we just do that. Cool. Thank you. Then I guess we can go for one last hit. Cool. That took a bit. But at least this deck is almost through and done. Okay. 
buy a couple more dynamic skins now that we've finished our weekly TCG matches. Yeah. Mm hmm. Shops commodities and get not that one. This one. Cool. Oh right, we can get another. So we'll get Fiorina for now. Maybe. Actual Yunjin. Oh, excuse me. It would have been maybe who I should have gotten because I was using her on. Shown off. And the burst with skins and stuff, but eh, whatever. It's not all that important. Yeah, we have most of all the dynamic skins on, except for most of these event cards. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna feel weird when I've actually got all the dynamic skins. So I guess the one thing left to do would be, you know, go back to Fontaine, walk through Petrichor, yeah. Town, still don't abide, uh, spool around here, which is gonna be more just poking around than exploration and then do my weekly bosses, yeah. Okay. Talk to relevant individuals. Some of them might have. War related. I did not mean to do that. Well, whatever. Not like it matters. Okay. Look around. And... Mm -hmm. Who is where and what can I say to them? Not much dialogue. Oh, we can cut the... Oh, and it's... Same cat from before. Okay. Yeah, that's Oos. The former Cassiodor cat. Now just a normal cat. Okay. Then we... Hmm. Guess I may as well go around the edge of the island real quick. Just sick of thoroughness. I'm gonna go to the chats and... Didn't imagine there'll be much else there, but still. Okay. Oh, well, uh, okay. That was funny. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I can't believe she's around. No more Orokino, guys. Hmm. So am I. Okay, I would be able to do all my bosses, but I basically be capping on my artifact capacity. Hmm. Loradon. I hope Dan tells me some lore. Wonderful melody, you are. Student and Master Giovanni is Vincentino, instrument seek my master. Hmm. Stradivarius, a beautiful melody. Forms of the opera and was plaudits and applause. The rebel maintain prestige, same down working with Giovanni and Craft into the Centino family. Okay. Goodbye, see you to your guests from afar. Then hmm. I know that one of the guys here mentioned the Iridath and Sure before. But I wonder if that might have been a dialogue specifically for Last Patch. Is that would have been no, that was the iridescent sword then. I can't believe that we missed every single one of those crystal flies. Well, I kind of can, but it doesn't make me happy about it. Oh, interesting. There are three hydro phantasms just chilling here. Interesting. I did not see that before. Is that a new development? Well, whatever. Thanks. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Hmm, interesting. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. And just go around again. Just some of this again. And yep, Thundering Fury is so good on her. It is undeniably just... If I'd, t if I'd gotten in their vicinity and they'd seen me, they would have attacked me aggressively. They were... A latent threat to the townspeople. Also, I like killing things. Hmm. 
Uh, well. I'll hide them used to use this. Until the new Battle Pass sword came out, Wolfang. That was basically permanently on my Alhyphen. But Wolfang is better than Black Sword on Alhyphen because Wolfang affects skill damage, Black Sword affects normal attack damage, and Black Sword was sort of a cope option in that the crit rate was good, and he does still have to hit with normals to make his kit work. But it wasn't really a big source of damage for him in the same way that skill stuff was. Which is why that why an R1 Wolfang is better for his damage than an R5 Black Sword. But Black Sword is ridiculously good on Clorind because, well, every single part of her damage except for her burst is normal attack damage. Because both the thrust and the gunshots of her special stance count as normal attack damage, so... I'm like, oh my goodness. Thanks. One, two, three. And the range is really, really good, too. Not just of the actual shots, but of the thrusts. And beyond the fact that it sends you a good deal forward, it just also... has a very, very nicely large hitbox, too. Hmm. Petrichor is very, very small. Well, I... You have one day left. I will say, though, she... She's kind of in between Alhytham and Kutching in terms of usefulness. You know, all, both of them are... All three of them... All, all throth of them are... Throth of them. Both but three are... I made that up. Sword DPSs who generally want to be run with Dendro and Electro in con some kind of conjunction who... Well, you know, we call that freedom. Hmm. Contarini. Sleepy is such a strange dream, and you are? Tiepo, security and surveillance patrol. It... I don't think that's true. If you don't want to play the game again, that's on you, but I don't think that's true. of the laws come straight to me anyway. Come on, on vacation? I haven't had enough arrests at all. Oh, so she's on vacation. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, on Wii U. Okay. Hmm. Strange dream. Oh, right. You do live in rural South Italy. Plotting with weird fellows is different from work. Researcher from the Institute. Play a Crucis Ordo. Transform us into Mecca. Normal kind of stone. Don't really exist. In the fight, Chevreau's trouble, what an amazing treasure. This legend. Petrichor, make any wish come true. Sort of tale. Samara researcher. Hmm. As well. Back and get more sleep. Hello there, Giacino and Giovanni. Great the instruments. The instruments after all these years. Forgot. Peg press, remember painting. Basic of basics. Folded before. Fair. What makes a man? Watch closely and learn well. A different dialogue before the quest I did that reunited the brothers. Yeah. Holy crap, Mario and Luigi. Okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah, that's the real... Wow. Yeah, that's the real question. Are you a Mario Italian or a Luigi Italian? Okay. Come on, come on. Go up here. And... Hmm. Interesting. How do I want to get up here? Get up this way and... Okay, now we can manage to get on top of the roof. Just keep on looking for dialogue in here. The cannon guys are going to be important. Chandra, Putra, and Paula. Any funny noises? Funny noises, uncle. 
Shadow over Petrichor and Lily the Crucis of Rudels. Is he writing something? Wouldn't be worried about anything if you told the adults. Between Janoli's is. That it was. Snoring. Out of TCG. Play for days now still. Quanto Rene. Let's get the deal. So the researcher is getting one put over him by kids. Oh, wait. The others are shorter? Oh, okay. That puts. That changes my perspective then. Oh, but interesting. I think that. Yeah, I don't think that banner was there during the world quest, so normally. It would be a lot harder to get up to the tower. I did manage, but. And get that riddle there. Fair. Met before. Who are you? Met in a dream. I still fantasy novelist, inspiration place, editor, and head down on rushing me. This isn't going too well. Welcome to the town where most people would find me. Dream, grand, grand glorious, ancient civilization. It's staged like an epic opera. Water civilization pursued in an enigmatic red gem. The Redstone of Asia from Jojo Part 2 Battle Tendency. The Ruby Riddle. That. Is that. Reference to a Sherlock Holmes story or something? Bigger shoes. As long as it works. In the dream, Talon is an author, much like you in a dream, that looked familiar. I will adventure, protagonist in my new book. Goodness. See you around. Meet again sometime. Yeah, forget about Papa's Pizzeria. What about JoJo's Pizzeria? Don't think that one will take off. Tile Affair. Oh, and right, we can... Right, she's the music gal. Assistant forgotten your names. Contract to play ancient music and we can give her a score now. Still chasing a rumor, might be well ahead of the game talking about. Petricor, great hypnosis. Sorry. I guess God hates Italians. Faded castle rediscoveries centuries ago, what you were here for. Oh, and we got that score from the library. It's in deal with us, sure. Jojo's seawall jump scare. Well, there was that whole white woman jump scare joke about the one FNAF game where you get caught by the security guard. And she shows up like any of the animatronics, Bathius, important musician. She wrote with the scores he compiled, it's based on music history, and all the research found at the castle. Relic to Musicians Association. Use secure relics before the adventurers get here once set ahead of me. Big evil person. Can no longer be used for evil. Found some ancient scores. So want the evil people. A few kind words apart, apart from his music. Playing Outlander. So, Born Fountain is an enemy. Just about wars before the founding. So it's just about history. Kettle of Fish. Oh, so they're literally about... <laughs> This is literally all about separating the art from the artist. Somehow, somehow I feel like they might be talking to their player base. Part of history, pure sword needs to be do wrong. Well, I'll remember that. Wouldn't use it for evil impressive conviction. It's just my personal opinion. Fit for us to meet here. Help me out with something. Payment for the paper from last time. Guess this might happen. Earlier, last opera and Ruggiero was somewhere in the Pitch Castle, but we already have it. Matters and I, we already have this. Scores don't have that power, we might as well. And you've agreed. Wait for you in town in the meantime. Well, we can just do that then. Hello. We have it already. Excellent. Got no questions. It's from this town every year, first time visiting. Counting on you, wait for you in town in the meantime. Let's turn this in. Hello there, music score and I tell her about the music score. That seemed to be bad grammar. Once standard tour has been restored, read the ancient melody contained within. All right, and then indeed, flying outlander actually found it. Trust new excellent adventurers. Provide the opera, make money. We won't keep it for her own. Put up display piece, public domain, research is complete. Exactly, last play, page of history. For missing greater deed to do, waiting for you, sure. Back, research, and study await your payment. Let us meet again. And that. Ah, nice! And there was an achievement for that. 
Cool. Well, screw it once again, see the light of day. Okay. Goldoni. A school romance, tongue creed, trickle, yeah, well, I dress in a tiltia. So my intense, you are? Screw up talking to myself, a playwright wasn't important. Interesting. Who is he about the script? Script for the next film festival. Ah, so there's a relationship between Javier and this gal. Furina Award winning producer. And next script, acquaintances, writing a script for free. Pay me, take me four. Hmm. Opera scripts, different writing for films is. Don't describe finer details, camera and visual angles. Brand new challenge, what the best theme might be. Classical romance story. Very normal, theatrical things, it's time immemorial. About time immoral. I mean, anything else, Capellius wants that ancestor. So good and evil, beauty and ugliness, beauty is eternal love. Uh oh, that's. Don't like that. Historically, yeah, Legend of the Log Knights, romantic classics. Don't misunderstand. Capellius. This playwright, descendant, skill far from comp comparable, going to Hyperborea, Capellia, Mask of the Green. Among the Greats, incandescently. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Can't believe she. Literal Solaire reference. Let me see. I. Yep, and the wiki. The wiki does. <laughs> does say that her dog is probably a reference to Solaire. It's actually ridiculous. Oh, and. Dress and its silty as a reference to a Tristan and a Sold. Sort of going to earlier variations of their names. Hey, no mind. And then, let me see. This is... Let me see. Referencing other plays like... Jerusalem Delivered. Tancred and... Oh, Tancred and Clarins. Chiriclia. Theagenes and Chiricoia. This is an ancient Greek one. Slim Delivered is an epic poem by an Italian poet, Torquato Tasso. Godfrey of Bolan. Godfrey. Next script. And then. Let me see. Best theme. Javier's friend. Together, known themselves three childhood friends. Mechanism's gone to Inazuma without batting when batting an eyelid. The Adrian Club and. Oh, goodness. Work for his requirements, perfect the scripts I'll make. Oh, but we didn't see, excuse me. Didn't see everything there. It's a branch of trees. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wouldn't have turned down the commission. Script wouldn't have, or. Hmm. So what is. No, no. Ah, oh, I picked the wrong thing again. Okay, okay. I'll look a little bit more, but it doesn't appear like. Anyone disappear with nighttime? Hmm. Let's check. And then we'll see. Classical romance, normal, normal, normal. Capellius. Shriklea and producer will like it. More than just scripts, traditional opera, more. My goodness. Then goodbye. Goodbye. Safe journey. Check the remaining Daydream Club people and see what happens. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. This is you. I said that Joss. Was it wise? Still in a dream, busy with. Gnosis is a research direction. Dream for fantasy has come true. Grispawn's notes. Better than him, add to the field, impress when he returns. And then, Osa doing well, Tender Age, brave little kitty, and bold. Afraid of strangers, get along with everyone well. Cute. See you next time. See Osa more often, sure he misses you. Grendelwand, the evil guy. In collaboration, he's playing them. This and the danger club keep refusing, Garcia refuses. Wants him to leave. Change, started anew, support their research career, is doubtful myself. 
Treating about suddenly claiming to wish to do good. Trust soon trust a venomous snake with fangs dripping with venom. Contra and Babies. I'm going to support their cannon. It's went invisible. Project has a lot of appeal. Can't be built in the name of attracting investors. Magic and yeah. Investors and researchers have similar interests. As opposed to just trying to scam people. See you later. Take care. And then. You have the Beast and the Contra. Which presumably the cannon will be used to shoot down Celestia eventually. I think that's kind of a safe bet. Can I see up? No, I can't see it from here. Cannon's bigger the better, or what sort? Up into the skies, gun mount here far away, but not too far. Restricted zone, spherical blast went quite strong. Suitable positions. Sure, their hats might get blown off, don't see anything. The design phase. Spherical to make it hard and heat resistant. And shot and be a goner. Shells are in water, easier to cool. Whilst by water, nothing but benefits. Forging the cannon itself. So probably, I presume, that we'll use something like Connery and Technology with their help to shoot down Celestia to access it. Should know, or maybe shoot up to it. Inspiration more research. Fell outdated in some places you saw overall. High altitude of water, what new aqua bus one completely skill model should be doable. Power of daydreams. More quest line. Reflecting on their hypnosis, see you around. And it's complete, save you a special C. Yeah, inside the cannonball. Maybe. I don't know whether they shoot down Celestia or shoot us two Celestia cannonballs, the bigger the better. People to sit in, yep, exactly, exactly. To shoot us up to Celestia. Cannonball eternally hollow, two or three people sit inside. The cushioning, don't injure yourself, and the walls are inspired. Food, water, and a camera. What be made of, don't know yet, problem it to solve. Chill types, she made projectiles, small animals. Uh oh, that's unethical. Speed of Aquabus, lots of inspiration, not the same sort of speed. Can fully refer to. Oh, so it might be. Maybe less of a cannon and more of a railgun. Oh, interesting. But, goodbye. Used to make this cannonball, but ever since two years ago when they mentioned. Because I think it was two years ago when they mentioned. These guys in their cannon, I was sort of... Well... Cat just goes around. The big thing is that two years ago, the Evermotion Mechanical Painting event, the puzzle event with a Fontaine guy in Mondstadt, they mentioned... They mentioned... Those guys and the cannon they were making. And all I could think was, okay, all of these are... The big thing is that the perpetual motion made me think of Conrio, because the perpetual heart, I mean the perpetual heart is explicitly, as well as the perpetual caliber, could not hope to match, yet yeah, no such thing as a perpetual motion machine. Definitely made me think, okay, so the others are going to be maybe eventually Conrad related. The cannon especially, it's just... If there's one thing that a cannon that could reach up to the skies would be relevant towards, it would be something... You were know, reaching Celestia either to knock it, knock it down or send us to it. And that was mentioned two years ago, and for something like that to be... I figured that if they were going to mention that... I saw that, yeah. That it would probably be important. The funny thing is that it was right by the mint, so it'd be easy to accidentally actually get that piece of paper. Then yay, arm hurts, someone hit her, something's fighting that. Book by its cover, musician, pluck all liar's strings. Exhausted, manifold strength. Never in this tired, play the liar without rest or sleep. Return to Capitolium to get a rest, Capitolium. Ah, uh, he's still got some of the memories, fringing in. My whip's hometown where my family is. No longer have any family. Let the afterlife reunite with them there. Simply disappear, let it slowly fade, and just any amount of that play the past. Iridescence tour. The experience for Sora, Dvorak, the NPC, the head of the tour, who first showed up in that lantern, right? Last year, feet asked for assistance. Hmm. Okay, let me see. 
And then, okay, the other part of the dialogue tree and about the family, about your family, and heard my music gifts were to perform together. She got dissolved, right? Yeah. It, it goodness. It is. I like how continually they've mentioned that. How it stayed relevant. Bosue. Zon fasting, interesting indeed. Make a cannon. Contra beast, peripheral persuasion. Sibilis, well overboard. He looks. It's funny seeing him a lot older than that portrait over in that one underwater laboratory over in Research Institute region. Daydream in all sense of the word. Can material in the shape. Not super repellent. Shelf to the altar they desire. Four or five counts to the brim. Useful in other fields. Yeah, they're definitely going to make an anti celestial can of some sort. Recognize me? Erase me. He's got swimming happy for them. Acquaintance. What a jerk. So work there for my academic labor. Trusty steam burden. Some of my mentees. Resign from my post. Quite requirement. Not taking mentorships. Going to be disappointed. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. See you. Take care now. Big thing, if I recall correctly, is that he had a lot of hate for the ice wind suite for the dancers. Further away from him. You are Pasquale, matron of Pasquale's instruments. To Giovanni, her husband. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Being straight makes you an NPC. Fisher's bird from some Sumeru chant. Mm -hmm. Hard to pronounce. Sound back, researcher, never doing research, by cards all day. Statues, what's in the walls? Come to radiate and investigate me. Let me see. Mose is mischief son, giving any trouble, restless soul. Still up to Sumeru. Dreams of adventure, reel him in, and then. Racism! Okay. Then we talked to you already, right? Yeah, the, the author, okay. Then we have Mose, hello. So boring, want to see the outside world, dream more interesting. Well, I don't remember much yesterday or before. Tent was invaded, one of the guards became an officer. My guns, but oh, they're thinking about recontextualizing the Ramuria stuff with Modern Fontaine. I realized it didn't add up, that it was perfect, could have been there forever. So to go on an adventure. Which grow that boring, nothing ever changes, everyone's okay with that. Like this, uncle wouldn't have left, but he did come back. Some place rainforest, deserts, and fortresses and temples. Water everywhere you look. Go on an adventure, your uncle. Remember before he came back, so he mentioned that. Didn't get anything done, I didn't get in debt. Well, that's true, actually. He doesn't want me to leave town. Then we... Isn't that interesting either? Every kind of other place before that. So, what if we go to Celestia and say that? From the Doge, Petrofor's Doge, Concilium Sapientum. That room rare. Zim and Elder ask me anything, Concilium. Christian here, Committee of Elders. Is a doge, old and unskilled though. Overseer, what to do? Simple lives and customs, do by tradition, customs and history. Mythic idyllic, quiet and friendly, overboard, almost wary. Far from the court, people ever, hardly ever left town. Some throats drop ripples, disturb our peace. Hold it against them. Interesting. Hmm. Let's just check and history. So tell how long you're in the court of Fontaine to have my offers when we long enough. De Petricor, oh Rene de Petricor from the Fontaine background war, have long ruled here. Duke appointed by Egeria. Well the Duke more like a doge, right? Turn to ever increasing prosperity. Final Petrono became the mayor of Poisson. Right, exactly, and that would be Yeah, Rene de Renault de Petricor and Rene, who became no assistant Groitz. Was his son, lost his life, family tree with her. After some abandoned fishing village, first a doge, Ruggiero, Concilian, Phantom restored her fortunes, but. Wasn't Ruggiero immortal or. Wait. No, no, I think it was Cassiodor teaching Ruggiero. Ruggiero is the name of a character from the Matter of France, by the way, which you might know because you are Italian. And the Matter of France is, of course, Italian. Somehow. Found a ruin, relations to the closest, destroying traditions, move differently, time for change. For Scar, the one who wants to do stuff with the Spina. Have any questions? Enjoy your stay here. 
Alright, so now we can go to Bida finally. We can buy we can get a Bida Bida. Hmm. I've already been down to the castle, so. So that was all there really was to do in Petricor. And the only thing that really told us anything well we had mentions of the gun slash movie event and the Rhythm game event, but besides that, Sumeru Jean does not trust people from Sumeru, huh? But, as I was saying... Hmm. As I was saying, I was mostly just hearing about the cannon, which is not nothing, that's for sure, but... Kind of expected more in the way of lore from here, but alright. So might be some stuff in Bida, and I know that they do mention a bit of a little bit about that one there. It's a little it's an inscription, but yeah, okay. And the bell tower. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep, saw that already. Battle of Spoo, Golden Sands, Treasures of the Dead. City in the East, Rune City. Boneless Valley. Wait. Where? Quarter beneath the lake. Maybe somewhere in Weiwei? Shiro, four parts, rebuilding this town. Giuliano, yeah. Let's find the answer. Boundless blue. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Valley and... Nothing up there, but... Hmm. Hmm. I really do wonder whether we'll be able to get to... Well, let's go back around here. Still haven't gotten that waypoint. Well, they will be able to go on the southern coastline, and there might be islands or something. The big thing is that they've they mentioned sea monsters around Port o Ormos so long ago, and I'm still wondering what kind of payoff we'll eventually get, because they never really do anything without some intention to pay off, even if it takes a while. So, which way to go? It would be sort of down this way. We can orient ourselves like this. Go over to the harbor and right. We do have a couple of bosses to fight, but. The water maze is different around here, too. It's this and. Maybe I could poke around the edge of Fontaine, but again, I doubt there will be anything of real note there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but given the fact that you're probably not going to be really sailing much around here, but an interesting that they made an entirely new water track for the area. It's cool, though. It does show how much effort they put into it. So after about a patch and a half, we're actually going to buy the harder for real. Because the quest sent me there, but I immediately left because the dialogue option just teleported me back from Petricor. Actually not sure who knew this music is. Well, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one NPC in here is supposed to mention a bit about that one. So we'll go over and talk a bit. Oh, uh, here with your How much Bond of Life do I have right now? Is the question. None yet. Okay, cool. Mm, and, oh goodness, alright. Cool, 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 and oh my goodness, alright. Nice, okay. Hmm. Arlequino makes these things cry. As you would expect. And we have a sigil over there, but it's just... There are a weird amount of enemies on this coastline, given that... It's pretty much empty in terms of actual chess. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. Oh well. There's this over here. Alright. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, alright. Thanks. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Let's grab this real quick and bounce for fun. Oh, well, actually, this. Oh, interesting. What if I. What happens if I go up here? Anything up top or what? Huh? Huh? I. Nothing really. Interesting, though. Hmm. Oh, there's a chest right there. Interesting. That case, then I'll. Hmm. Okay. It's actually pretty cool. Smash stone. And this area. Actually, an okay amount of stuff. Maybe. Hmm. Question is about getting through the water. Hmm. Actually, go decently far. That salmon consumption though, is a bit of a worry. I think part of the reason it doesn't. It disappears a bit before your stamina is all gone, so if you're over water, you still have a chance to pause and teleport back out and recover. Oh, hello there, hi. Cool. One, two, three. One, two, and. Okay, alright. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that fire. It's dying to our own burning grass. Goodness. Cool. And we. Some of that. Something fun. Something enjoyable. Hmm. Question is just boats out in the harbor. What of them? What are they for? If I get to this one and actually try to is there going to be anyone on board to talk to, or...? Hmm. That's the question. Having Thurian in the party right now, or someone like Scar would be even more convenient, but whatever. Okay, cool, and... Oh, goodness, alright, what if I... Can I make it? I think I can make it. Barely. Oh, well, what? What? Oh, my goodness. Okay. That was really stupid. Huh. Alright. Embarrassing. The big thing is that I can't teleport back until I get stuff. I guess I'll put in Farina and just walk on water. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And just get a bit of that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This does make it easier. I do. I do actually quite like that. They still added more water that's actually somewhat useful to walk on so that if you're in his passive, it isn't useless. It'd be really funny if just after putting Fury now, that every new water area threw an additional bit of water after that. It was diveable anyway, so it didn't matter. Hmm. <laughs> Well, nothing over here. Alright then. Oh, but... Let's equip. Hmm. Let's equip in the quick swap. Let's put in the Samiru compass. Yeah. Okay. And... Not much else. Yeah, okay. Ikario? I think she basically said light. Not quite sure. Think on this fontaine boat or no? Let's just check. Yoisho! Ah! Yotto! The arena noises. And then we. Hmm. Let me see. Can I? Not there. 
Well, we can just talk to these guys in Adel Mahamata. Hello. Sills and Frold rubbed up ready to go like the boats out of the sea. After the in the Academia Master Adel, and the Nav Vent and Spit, reports coming and going, inspect them in turn as their superior. You got to see. On the ships, make sure they're not slogging off some skiving old man. Goodness. Skiving. Uh, to see, indeed, all fired up like that. Seize my home, board with not long. Hmm, they were again if I could. So a sea border. Been a not long. Energetic, something else. Forge for battle. Barbarians, graffiti, and trinkets. Interesting. Contradictory, charming, colorful, getting younger. Need more rest, leave me idle. Hmm. That's one of the few things we know now. Be off now. Wind and waves. Hmm. Let's see who else we can shadow with along around this place. And no chest nearby, it seems. Hmm. And can I okay, I can climb up there, that's good. So worried for a second. So who can I talk to? Bojan. And Snake then restored soundly again, and you are. Fortunate that merchant from Leeway. Tough rustic constant companion, count of that tea. Keep a sigh of relief. Hmm. Chen Yu Adepti. Then supply problem. This is people, block roads, rob clientele, cut supplies. So that some quality of goods. And cards of Adepti. But are still trouble in the veil, but oh right, we fixed that. And come up with ten cards. It's really mixed top grid with average stuff, didn't deliver on top at all. Shouldn't have yeah, exactly. One formed, Carp Adeptus, Fujin. Yep, it's right over there. Business is back on track. Interesting how. I mentioned that. Won't disturb you any longer. Things are going well. Come by again. At the time in Zaya. Missed opportunity. Opportunities where they don't exist must be created. Proud member of the song. But oh, with Dory. Dory's orders. Business opportunities. Unscrupulous merchant not to great a sacrifice. Break rules, strict on smuggling. Good way of food remains on board. So, Dory is smuggling. Nice. Was too close to Fontaine, not quite in vogue. We was a different story. Find Lele can see in then, such as fish, bamboo, shoot soup, crab, or tofu. Don't see the mutton smear if at all. Tried all these before, or. Oh, maybe that was part of the food trip Dory was on to eat with. The deputy was the best. To be absolute junk, well, because of its little trouble. To tea faulty, back to normal to the really tea leaves. Trust him on me, taste it for myself. That's funny. Bye. Trusted, shame, shame. Okay. Anyone else over this way? No dialogue from you. So what else can I? Anyone else to talk to in here, or just have to keep going around? And there is. The Bida Harbor Teleport Waypoint Anaka. I mean Anaka. Anaka. Not a lot of people here at all. Hello. Well, long trips. Petrichor, too good. And you are? Music well, all things music. Skull and music part of research. Oh, so that's the guy there. Go there with him. That researcher. Petrichor. Stories, other side of the seat. Fold music only in dreams. See no boat to come over here. I mean, back here so boring. Aquabus, listen to music beneath the waves. This lies too. Tricked you then. Good person to me. A whole bunch of things kids don't get. She was so good. Family trouble? Just a mom. Tomorrow be old enough to travel already. I hmm. Go over this way. Hello then. Who else? None of you. So then. More guards with no dog, and presumably. By the ko, e yokoso, yeah, by the harbor. By the ko. And then, Shazar Port Master. Cooking symbols best, and you are Officer General Fair, Shazar or Boss. Spec through actions. Straight shooter. By the harbor, place for influential forces crisscross, peace caps of ours, stays in the corner. Slugger's no better than trying to be cute here. It's amazing. 
Trust my origins, hate doubters. It used to mean Eremite, right, exactly. Right. Except for the academia's offer, one thing is here. Difference, get paid, do stuff, don't mess with me, easy game. This person yourself. Enough, got to do is get back to. She gonna mention Dia. And then, big smugglers. Local Eremites, more than once, help me do things. We wait in Fontaine. Back of my hands and secret letter. Outlanders, diplomatic measures. Friends in Lumidusa and Yulong Wharf. Exchange tips, good deals. Except the busiest port or most. Hmm. It's nothing, no news is good news. And then, and then, and then. Hmm. Okay. Go over here. And what else? And Onorin, the desert fontaine engineer. Laying myself down, you are. Unlucky. Halted due to an accident leaving me stranded by the limit. Oh, an aquabuster. Samaru? Jira Hot Montaigne. Oh, the one in. Chowing Village. Ah, okay. Bet on what? Sorry, it's safety. Extraordinary the desert terrorists, no matter how to slice it. Desert. Engineer, Clockwork Mecca. Make concrete machines. That's the desert. Callings, progress and contrast. Leaps and bounds. Oh, nothing is happening. Wonder if she might have anything new to say. Probably not. Risky and. Fool now by bands. Kind of machines, such a laughing stock. Hard to watch to hire an outlaw. The desert. It's pointless competition. But I take the gamble. Hmm, okay. Anyone else to talk to, or... I think we've exhausted the area. Then I suppose... The only things really left would be going on the sides over here to... See what enemy encounters and meager treasure chests I might be able to find. And also to finally get on top of... Samara Mountain over here, which would be nice. Hmm, okay. Go over here. And then... Interesting. Well, that, that is right. Just use Furina. Furina. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And here or... That waterfall is... Not much right now. Over on this side, see if there are enemies, and this is previous boundary. Oh, all right. What the hell? Oh, right. Actually, I could put in core in for slightly faster movement. As silly as this is. Okay. So then, on the water, I anything here or. Hi, Makuda. Something about the ocean. And then... Hmm. This seems largely empty. Which makes sense, but still. Oh, but... That brief bond of life regeneration. wonder if it was... Furina healing or what? Well, that could be interesting to see. That's actually... Yeah, we're getting a little bit of Bond of Life out of that. It's fun. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, but it goes away too quickly to... Okay. Hmm. Now that's gone. Anyone else over here, or... Well... Do I see... I don't think I see a chest. No, I don't. That was just the little kitty house from before. The tree house. Hmm. Okay. I... This does move me a little bit faster, but only a little. I... Hmm. Is this for a bit of additional movement? The sound itself is quite silly, too, so... Maybe I don't want to abuse that too much. Over in the 
coastline. There are at least more sigils, but... Hmm. Okay. Fun looking. It gets a bit like Elden Ring, just... I need to trace every, every last bit of terrain just to make sure that I don't miss out on a single thing. Hmm. Okay, then. Alright. Over and up here, is there anything as well, or... Hmm. The terrain itself is... Who they put plants down? Yeah, it does not seem as if much of anything is here. So, uh, going up past that watchtower. Go through this, and then, yeah. The mountain, desert, and a couple of weekly bosses. Hmm. Right, right, right. Just gotta keep my... Camera angle, good. Hmm. It is interesting how... It's not all that complicated how Corrin's kit works, but I actually like how... The thrust and the gunshot vary in strength based on your bond of life percentage, which in practice just means three gunshots and a thrust. But, it's interesting how it's not just the combo, as in an auto combo of three shots and a thrust, which they could have done, they could have done that. It's, you can keep going for shots or just keep going for thrusts, maybe, in, a, in the sense of, if you need to do, need to hit things in the air or specifically go for gap closes in order to continue attacking, but... Going for the more varied combo is going to be better in most situations. It's more interesting than I might think. Hmm. Well, she does always have access to both the thrusts and the shots as options. It's just playing optimally in a situation where both can actually hit at any given time. It's and healing does change it because of how it impacts her bond of life gain, which is to say that to drink her stance, all the healing becomes bond of life gain, so sometimes that can mean maybe two shots in a thrust, but that's rare. Main thing is hmm, we'll see. I wonder how much healing you would have to get your Baiju dealing, for example, because running her with Baiju is probably the most obvious healer to run her with, because of the Dendro, but you know, how much healing you'd have to be putting out, and to be fair, you could do it in a silly kind of way by optimizing to minimize Corrin's HP and maximize Baiju's HP to make, because it's all about a percentage of her health. But healing amounts are relatively flat. So... The lower Corrin's HP and the higher Baiju's HP, therefore, the higher is healing, the easier it would be to... make that work. It's interesting to think about. And yeah, that... was not much of anything, so... Let's go down this path. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Check out what's over here. This path, go up the other one. Go up the mountain. The fact, again, that they did add that Samara Mountain Final, even if there's nothing really special there, is quite nice. Glad that they actually got around well. Mm -hmm. Make our way over here. Shouldn't be any more. Well, 
Let's make it daytime anyway. Okay. I see how much time I have. I might go through the new rainforest. To be fair, this is this is tiny though. Shouldn't take me long. Well, I want some through the rainforest because I know that the jungle is the only place where they actually add a new chest. Might just fight the bosses and hop off. We'll see. It's a time question. Hmm. Keep on going. I'm checking this out. Then, mm -hmm. Much over here except... Actually, we could get down parts of this. Underside of the waterfall. Yeah, sure. And... Nothing seems to be down this way. I... Uh, hmm. They did have that one quest in Petricorn that briefly sends you to Bida, but... Honestly, I and other people expected Bida to be a lot more substantial than it actually ended up being, which... Oh well. Hmm. Get back on the road. Yeah. Oh, and okay, smash stone right here. Fun. More Mora is always welcome. Tigers! Tiger! Okay. Come on, come on. Some of that, and... Get over here. There we go, finally. Get you over to a place that can really hit you, and... Oh, goodness. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... Alright. Nice. But actually, if I just shoot, that's fine. I was meant to stay away from a lot of that garbage. Hmm. Tigers right on the entrance of town. I don't think that's good. And you can see what appear to be abandoned merchants' carts too. It's actually really crazy. Hmm. All right. Keep on looking and thing down here or. I guess not really. Hmm. And up and around would be its own thing as well. Until that uh, we go down this side and it's there are crates, but smash stones again are always welcome. I have a very nice amount of more now. Of course, new characters will that quickly. So the big thing is that I don't even have an artifact set prepped for Sigwin yet because nobody has really made any kind of pre-release guide for her. It's just nobody knows really anything about how she should be run. I think based on what I've seen of her kit design, she might actually... The big thing is that she's kind of supposed to be run with Fiorina. As in, if you're running Furina to buff someone else, you can run Sigwin to help with the health drain. Besides that, I... She doesn't really fit in anywhere all that well. And she benefits somewhat from Furina, the fact that having them both in gets the Hydro Resonance for a bit of extra HP is nice, but... Well, oh, wow, that... That kill? Okay, that's actually kind of ridiculous. Okay. Cool. I suppose. We have one of these over here. Cool. The old pawns. Ah, hmm. oh, but this is actually in Vonorana now. Fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I think... I didn't even check, but Bada Harbor is in the Suda. No, it's in Lokapala. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Interesting. And I... Hmm. Lots and lots of... These guys, it's funky. And you have just tigers jumping down to kill people, as one does. Oh, but actually, could I... Hmm. Could I reach that? All these tiger encounters. Okay, cool. Can I hit you from here? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. That was actually quite convenient. I did not expect that level of range. I mean, again, they are guns, but still. Hmm. Then I guess, oh, but you're in a weird position. Can I hit you when you get close? And the bloom core dropped all the way to the bottom. Cool. And, okay, interesting. Hmm. Cool. What well, then? If the other side would be... Oh, and climbing fruits. The one's basically taken from Skyward Sword. Okay. Okay, and just... Alright, cool. Fun. It's interesting how there's a shot on there. Hmm. So... Check you out real quick. Hello there, hi. Thank you, and just... Nice. And it, the interesting thing is that... The attacks are small enough that it doesn't seem to actually apply electro to the water and therefore get reactions on there. I, oh, the question is, how am I gonna? Well, okay. Um, hmm. Well, actually, I could order just take them down with these hits, right? Yeah, we're gonna go physicals because the other fungus drops are not good. Okay, cool. Thank you. The core and physical normals. Actually pretty strong. Weirdly enough. A bit more than you might expect. Okay. So I think that was all oh, that was immediately right there, but this more thing was on other sides, maybe. Ikaria? Go up on this little segment and see. Oh, but no, jumping would not really do it. We're okay, though. There's no flight ability or anything that would let me make this work. Mm. Not with who I've got in the party right now. But I... It's going down around here then, and then up the mountain. On this side of Baida. Okay. Funky, but yeah, mostly empty too. I am still glad that they actually put something in the mountain, but yeah, we're kind of straddled between Locapala and the rest. And this is. Weird position. The music is just switching back and forth. But I. Who could hate Vonarana? I really liked how. There were different treasure chests and objectives in the real form and the dream form. Back when I was exploring, clearing out Samara's exploration last summer, that was something fun that stood out to me. You had to go in both forms in order to find everything. In general, I think. As cool as Fontaine Swimming is, I still kind of feel like Genshin exploration peaked with either Inazuma or Sumeru. Us in terms of being interestingly complex. Because Inazuma had actually difficult puzzles, which I really liked. But Sumeru had a lot of underground stuff that was 
for lack of a term, lack of a better term, shamelessly treacherous. It actually took, it was willing to be a little confusing at times. And the addition of the underground map definitely kept things from getting too stupid. But I think casual people are are already moving on to you know, the next biggest newest game. Appealing to people who play who only play your game in spite of itself or because they're addicted to gambling eventually stops working because eventually again they move on to the next flavor of the month kind of thing and i think that might be why they've upped a bit of difficulty to sort of encourage people who are already invested and dedicated to invest themselves more in a very literal sense but I guess the question is just I do wonder what the game would be like with sort of a traditional sort of MMO subscription model or something like that cool oh wow oh that okay that just killed interesting in that case, let's go over and take you down. And yeah, just the initial cleave kills. It's actually actually ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Then and then and then. Keep on looking. Anything over here? We did get a couple of mortar rocks, which was nice. But yeah. They should, should give you a charm. I mean, they should give you something, an artifact you can equip that gives you more money. Like, the gold scarab. Should do that. Uh, nice, and oh, can we hit? Oh, well, kinda. Fire's still better for waking them up, which does make sense, you know. If I lit you on fire, you would panic. Hmm. Okay. Up the mountain. The mountain. Okay. Yeah, but taking these guys out is gonna be its own thing as well. Type effectiveness? Maybe so. Oh, but oh, interesting. How would I get them down here? Actually. Start setting bloom seeds on them because all the other damage risks I have at the moment. Hmm, just go down here. Go down here. What if I. Hit, hit, hit. And can I. Hmm. Okay, now you're actually getting hit. That's good. And oh, you're. Oh, come on, you imbecile. Absolute mongrel. Hmm. Don't want to try to have to. Okay. Come on, just bloom, bloom. There you are. That'll do it. Oh, amulet coin, amulet coin. Okay. Right. Thank you, thank you. The Nahida Bloom Comp. Hmm. Let's make it daytime again so I can see better. Okay. Hmm. Just simply continue Move over this way, and then, and then. So I still think that. Actually, let's try this. And burning, nice. And overloads on that too. Great. Okay, cool. And mm, let's do that healing. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Burning an overload. And another more rock. 
More, uh, the Mora. Hmm. Okay. I saw yesterday a screenshot of some Pokemon. I think it was Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. It was definitely one of the Sun Moon games. ROM hack that changed the texture of Meowth. So it looked like Gumball from The Amazing World of Gumball. Which was certainly something. Hmm. I guess the question is how I would run that kind of ROM hack eventually. Now that Citra is... Well, I'm sure there's something else. I think I remember hearing that anyway. Mm -hmm. Does feel a little silly to be using actual for normals. I mean, physical normals. Yeah. Black Sword is making that a little more tolerable, though. No, it's not genius, it's Gumball. Okay, oh, and right, Aramite's up here. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that was the one I heard about. You might have told me about that, actually. Oh, but interesting, they don't have a lot of chests here, but I think they added the... All these more rocks do something similar. Actively, and just... Alright, and... Alright, cool. Good stuff. Slept in the heat, and it works really well for overworld, overworld because you can just... Immediately, pretty much everyone who shows up shows up from the from the start. So <laughs> don't have to worry about missing out, <clears throat> or well, as in worry about clearing a wave too quick and having to lose out on some of Corin's skill uptime because of having to switch Nahida back into reply or just having to go. With Non-reacting electro-normals. Hmm. So then. So then. And we- Oh, well, lots of hillatrills in here. Interesting. Big encampment. Alright. Let's just get all of you. Thanks. Alright, cool. Nice. And cool, and okay. Ooh, well, can I- Interesting, and- I got most of them. And, mm, well, we can just fizz you down. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Even if there's no real material reward beyond Moro Rocks, it's fun to go around and just beat up enemies. It, after all my struggles in Abyss, does feel good to just be able to do a one-sided stomp. Okay. Thank you, thank you, and more meat. The fact that the Sumter Beast just died pretty much instantly, even though we actually didn't get any reactions off on them, because getting reactions off on the other hill trolls, because they'll share the seed, meant that they took damage from Nahida's seed, which was enough, apparently. Kind of crazy, though. Big ol' Nahida damage. Radish power. I do... I do still think the Nahida Radish thing is pretty funny. So 18 if you spam them. It seems... It's more or less that maximum. Work our way up the mountain and then... Around this coastline, loop back around to Vida, and then we fight the bosses, and that should be it for this this one today. Because again, I do have to in about a little under an hour. I need to drive my mom to a doctor's appointment. So I that is, of course, why I'm doing it this early too. Well, early for me. Well, early, early, relatively for everyone, in the context of me. Never mind, that's kind of nonsense. <laughs> well, alright. Let's keep working our way up. And then, and then, and then. 
What? Just what I said? Fair. Glad you liked it. Hmm. Oh, but is this not? Yeah. Not detect. So wait. Oh, was it because I was in stance that it wouldn't let me use it? Uh. Yeah. No. Okay. Because I was in the middle of an animation. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing seemingly over there then, so... Hmm. Funny mountain moment. Okay. Hmm, that over there... Well... I'm just gonna keep going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Okay. Missed out on one. I feel like there was some sort of hit lag or something. It might have been a terrain question. Hmm. We'll see. The big thing is, I need to stop running with Corrin. If I want to just move with stamina, I need to switch to Arlequino and. Okay, well, alright. Hmm. In fact, that's gone already, though. Okay. What is this, Weaving Peninsula? It is interesting that... A lot of the geography of Genshin can seem kind of fantastical. Compared to something like Elden Ring, and it seems... Comparatively grounded. That mm, tiger up there. Because in the end, it's... Condensed here, but generally speaking, it's based off of actual places in reality, so it tries to reflect to an extent reality. I suppose it's supposed to be a little prettier and a bit, you know, for one thing, China's not right next to Germany in real life, but. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Go for these. Four, five. One, two, three. Oh well. Let's not knock you off. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And can I? Thanks. Cool. Mm. Two, three, four, five. Mm. One, two. Okay. Cool. Down anything, or... Got- oh, there was another Mora Rock. Okay. Cool. If only these showed up on... The compass. Whatever. Not to take any chests, because they're... Really easy to lose, but I... It's not a crazy amount of Mora, but... It's still worth getting if I can get it for free. Hmm. I, I, I. Hmm. Sigwin. I also want to level up Layla. Next patch cycle for imaginary and theater related stuff because a little birdie told me that Cryo is going to be one of the usable elements. Next rotation isn't the one after. The one that starts next week, which I won't be doing until next patch anyway, because I won't be able to do it, you know, on stream, quote unquote, in terms of during the stream event. It is honestly quite weird to me that they always limit the stream event to the first part of patches, because it, especially if they actually add new characters in the second half. It feels, and I'm sure that the idea is sort of condensing attention and hype, but when they add multiple characters, or at least characters in the second half, and apparently some people, some sources are saying that Emily is actually going to get released in the second half of the next patch, even though she is an entirely new character, and the only entirely new character in that patch, which 
It seems a little suspicious to me, but it's not impossible. And, alright, cool. And just take you down. Thanks, thanks. Okay, cool. That worked quite well. And, yeah, there we are. Cool. Because th then in that case... And I doubt that the idea is basically dropping Emily without publicity to try to dump her. Because they've... For one thing, according to most of what people have been saying, she's really, really strong, is the thing. So... It would make some sense, maybe, if they intentionally or unintentionally made her really weak, realize that, and try to figure out a way to basically release her without much fanfare, but if they do end up releasing her second half of the patch as a strong character, it is interesting, though, because she she's a Dendro character who isn't really going to need or use elemental mastery. Her damage is just big green numbers, so to speak. Not related to her reactions at all, just a standard style sub DPS, but dendro damage. But if she gets released really second half, it would be quite weird. But I am excited though. Nothing else. It's another Fontaine Poem character, which I don't know. It's nice to continue filling out the list. And also, of course, first Fontaine Dendro, period. Which, it is still interesting that Fontaine is going to have a character of every element, but Sumeru still doesn't have Geo. And Mondstadt still doesn't have Dendro, but for Mondstadt, that makes a bit more sense, just because, you know, all this region, newest element, but... Still... Hmm... Then we, up over there is, hmm, we'll see, a lot of stuff, well, a lot of enemies, decent amount of smash stones, but, yep, right there, cool. I think a lot of it might honestly be just a feeling of wanting to maybe make some kind of sand type character. And just not really knowing how to do it. Or... I think maybe... Because a lot of... The main idea that a lot of people would have for... A Samiru Geo would be... A Sand-type character who... Enables somehow... Swirling Geo. So maybe it's a new, like, effect where... And maybe you would have to do it in a silly way where it's... Well, to be fair, Geo often runs Mono Geo already, so it wouldn't make a crazy difference. Where, kind of like Nihu, if you have a party with only Geo and Animo characters, it gives you the ability to apply Geo as a constant aura like other elements, and also swirl it. You forgot Cryo. And I don't think Fridge counts as a danger reaction. It is, honestly, very, very interesting that Cryo just does not react with Dendro. A lot of people, I think, there were people who expected Cryo on Dendro to basically be a sort of Cryo version of forward vaporize, be able to consume it for double damage and maybe the other way around too. Which it did not end up doing. I think what is interesting is... Well, there aren't a lot of crowd characters, and most of them are women, so... That said, the most relevant crowd character right now is a guy. Mm -hmm. Gotta wait for that to come back, I think. I'm going and I guess the question is will more show up after this or I get the feeling that I might get a bit more after that and no no that was the entire encampment all right 
<laughs> there we go. Why does he not count as cryo? Okay, he might punch, but his attacks are still literally cryo attacks. So. Question is, I think I got... I did get Shabros' artifacts at fully leveled now. Question is, who I... Well, up stuff for next. Uh, I... Do I have a tenacity set for Layla? I do not. I guess I, I don't have that many right now anyway, so... I still feed them to Hazo's VV set for the eventual time I level Hazo. I thought about leveling him before. Yeah! She is one of the most useless characters in the game. It sucks, but it's true. Simply not a priority for me. Not right now. We've been over this. Yeah. Tell that to Mahoyo, who made her that way. It's just... There aren't really a lot of ways to make physical good other than just giving it high multipliers. I guess maybe they could have more relevant reactions or something, but... Just, I don't know, more shred that can stack like Superconduct, but... It... By virtue of not being an element... It... Sigwin, Rosaria, Gaming, and... Someone else. Other side is Furina. Yeah, I... Noel, Noel. The big thing is that I don't have Gaming. I think I have MC3, maybe. Gaming. C2. Right. Rosaria C. No, I do have Rosaria C6. There you go. Time for your two day long Donald. Or so they say. They is you. I... Sh she's a conceptually interesting character, but again, interesting is not the same as good. Good idea. There you go. Wait, what con level is your Noel at? I have gotten a lot of good mileage out of running Noel in Mono Geo. Oh, fair. There you go. Mm -hmm. It might honestly be worth buying cons from the shop, really. That's what I did. I did. Well, to be fair, it would have been kind of a way. Given that. That could have gone to. I don't know. Big thing is that the weapons from the shop you can only ever get from the shop. Everything else in the shop can be obtained through other means. Wait, for Furina or for Sigwin? Let me see. Oh, fair. Well, to be frank, in the end, unless you really have to rush, it's almost certainly, honestly, better to just wait until you get the character's constellations normally. Because, in terms of getting a son like 5 star pity... Oh, weird. Okay. Sig Winnie. Sig Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Let's just keep on moving. Anything else up here, or... Mm hmm. Well, for one, I should probably Can charge down there and just stab and. Ooh, my goodness. Okay. Set stab killed, but I was not able to in interrupt the charge like I expected. Mm hmm. Mint. Mint. Hua. Hua. Have mercy. Have mercy. Oh, there we go, another smash stone. And what is going to be at the top of this mountain? Top of this peak. 
Let me see. Will this peak be peak? Or thank you. And well, I can light that on for no good. Light that up for no good reason. And just uh, uh, guess we continue. Okay. Fun. I guess. Probably a smash stone at the very top. Maybe. Uh, oh well. I okay. Oh well. Lots of eremites up here. Having fun. Not for long. Hello there. All right, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and oh, this staggers really, really well. Let's do an absolute barrage of attacks. Did not have to worry about any kind of retaliation. It's actually kind of disgusting. And I, oh, what is electro barrel and a wait? So presumably. If you activate them all at once, you'll get something of no, but let's see, and just, well, what if I go up way high? Oh, yeah, okay, interesting. Do that and bounce up way high, and you get, oh, we bounced up so high that, oh, wow, okay. So high we took fall damage. Nice. Okay, cool. Free chess. Hmm. I'm glad that there was something here. Something. And, um, okay, right, well, we, mm, Cool. Nice. Enjoy death. Cool. Alright. Cool. And that was... That was the place. And then we can... Hmm. I am glad that I attempted that super bounce. If I hadn't done that, that'd be a chest missing. Hmm. So I guess we can just loop back to bite uh, me. I think, actually, we're hitting a dangerous time marker, so Ugh, I'm just gonna go back to the boss fights real quick. Do that and then Close things out for the day. Well, and then get back on later for Dokapon. So. Hmm. Which, to be fair, should be done soon, which means figuring out something to do with other people that isn't Dokapon. And we. Hmm. Hmm. Did I already get over here? Probably. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's a possible option. There are various things I could try, really. The sky is the limit. Which means I'm not going to try skydiving. Okay. There is this. Mm, that's not much. Okay. And there we go. Will you approach? Thanks. Shoot. Pick. For what? Not wanting to die? I don't like pointless risks. You wouldn't do it either. You just, you just want to have someone have to take over my Twitter account to say, Oh yeah, he died. His parachute didn't open. Okay. Okay. Good. Glad to hear it. The fewer people actively wish for my death, the better. Okay. It depends on what you mean by risk. And again, it's the difference between risk for a purpose and pointless risks. 
And I... Well, there you go, then. I'd rather be slightly bored than slightly dead. Especially since there's no thing as slightly dead. It's kind of an all or nothing thing. Got a switch. South of us and official back in. Ah. Well, again, better board than dead. Yeah, I'm just doing the weeklies. For the sake of it. Gotta get them done eventually, may as well. Get a bit more stream time in. Then we do this, and thank you. This is a bit troublesome for this team because of how much he resists Electro, but... Nice. Nice. One, two. Nice. One, two. No. Oh, well. All right. And, mm, charge this up and stop you. Nice, nice. And other one. Cool. There we go. Cool. Thank you. And just put that down. Then we. Nice. And I don't think he got any more. Any less resistance, that is. But. Cool, cool. Nice. Alright, but the Thundering Fury is very, very good here. There we go, cool. Fun. Do, 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 what okay I that was not good didn't think that would happen okay cool thanks let's revive Nihita yeah okay give Nihita a smoothie Alright. Oh, that was a... The back attack, I... I have not seen that one in context before. Now we're just waiting for the rest to go down. Big thing is... I probably need some healing for, for Nikita then. Hmm. <laughs> Been a while since I had to do any of this. Let's give this to you, yeah. Yeah. Because for what it's worth, it's been a long time since I ran what, last ran a team with no healing whatsoever. Oh, that was interesting. It glitched out because we we're in the midst of a sort of grab while I mean we're in the midst of going to one of the energy blocks while the cutscene is playing. So it gave us movement back. Oh, that's funky. Okay, cool. Thank you. Go away. Sonahatsu. Then we go up here, we... Take you out. Thank you, put this down, and... Cool. Nice. Nice. Cool. Oh, well, that went away faster than I expected. Maybe hit lag, I don't know. Don't go on my back. Okay, cool. Is that? Yeah. There's two of those, okay. Cool. Gotta update my marker of how many I've got of each mat. 145 Skarmouche mats gained in total as of South House's release. 162 in order to level every single character is a Scar's mats. Up to 10, 10, 10, which will never, ever happen. But the big thing is, is that in part I run these for the sake of getting billets. And once I've gotten enough to get every character who uses these mats to 10, 10, 10, 
There isn't really any way I can justify myself running the bosses again. So. Mm-hmm. Cool. Alright then, we... Drop, we got it. One, two, hit, and cool. Can we dodge? Nice. Take that. Put you down, and do this. Cool. One, two, three, and one, two, three. dodge, dodge. Ooh, alright. Thanks. One, two, three. One, two, three. And okay, alright. Thanks. And can I. Hmm, where are you? Give me particles or not. Thanks. Go away. Thanks. Cool. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> at least Nahida might not be doing much damage to these. It's a little silly, but. Still make a lot of this work. And cool. Thank you, and can we. Oh, okay. Hmm. And over here. The nice thing is that her reactions are helpful, but they're not essential for her damage. Not the only way she does damage, so. Cool, cool. Let me just do this again then, and put you down. And try this. Cool. Nice. Thanks. One, two, and. Hmm. Because the big thing is that she gets more attack multiplier to her damage when she gets more reactions off. Which does fundamentally just change the way she plays in a good way. Nice. And cool. And alright, and now we have that. That's good. Let's actually wait through the cutscene real quick. Hmm. So that some of the cooldowns will come back up. Yeah, yeah, okay. That should be good. Okay, big one. Interesting that there are limits to how much you can actually lose. Oh, well, alright, thanks. Cool. And just up there, and cool. Nice. Oh, well, alright. Thanks. Cool, cool, and eventually we're gonna have to just start shooting at it once we're out of the way. Uh, the, where are the shields? Okay, right here. Cool. And wait, what? Never mind. Okay. Cool, I guess. And mmm, I could sail the way of that. And wait, what? Huh? I okay. Interesting and not in a good way. Huh, okay, cool. This is really, really painful. And the resistance she has to Oh my goodness. Okay, well I could just revive Corinne. Maybe. Yeah, okay, cool. And then we just Nice, take you out. Well, we. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, and I have to get that back. You're kidding. This? Some of the most embarrassing performance I've had this in a while. Okay, cool. What if I just shoot, shoot you and kill you? Okay, there we go. Fine. Lots of smoothies getting chugged. Okay. So then. So then. Okay. Heal up. Survive and... Oh, but... Eh, we should still be fine, even without... Coins burst up immediately. Shouldn't be too bad. Go down here and... Alright, that was... Too, so, I think. Close enough. Let's get closer to getting all of what I need. I'll check more thoroughly. Cool. Okay. Boom. Come on, and take that, and put you down, and can we- oh, well, whatever. Thanks. Nice. Good damage in a relatively short time frame. Cool. Nice. You can put this down again. 
and cool. Nice. Cool shoot and cool. And just well, that didn't quite hit. Okay. Other way, I. This isn't too bad. And just keep on shooting you and get close to maxing that out, maxing out the aggression and. Here we go. Cool. Alright. That down and just. What if we go a little harder to just shoot you down? And. Like, mmm, how much can I. Yeah, I. have done enough damage that it's not actually trying to suck me up anymore. That's fun. And I. Okay, alright. Cool, cool. It is possible to burst it down faster if you know what you're doing. It's kind of crazy. Wow! We skipped... We skipped phase two. Insane. Okay. Then... Last one is, of course... Arwakino. Two of those, two of those. Okay, cool. Last one, last one, and that'll be all for today. See how well it works. Yeah, that. I wonder how easy that is for whales. Probably pretty easy. Okay. Over here. Yeah. Then we... Yeah, we've got our transient resin, so we'll be chilling. Okay. All right. That's, oh, but the damage is bonus to bond of life, so that could be painful for Chlorand, but whatever. I'll live. Buy some of this, and cool. Nice, take, and some particles back, and cool. Some of that, and... It's better than getting a big head. And, ooh, interesting. Well, all right. This down, put this down, and just... Alright, cool, and... Okay, nice. Take that, and... Well, what? Okay, never mind. But, okay. Cool, and... Oh my goodness, okay. Cool. And... Two, and clear that, and... Okay, can I... Mm, can I... Okay, nice, and... Got, okay, I need to dodge all the way to that, and thank you. Cool. Thanks, and just... Oh my goodness, okay, cool, and... Oh my, okay. Alright. Cool and okay. I need to use this and take you out of the way and mm -hmm. thanks. Thanks. And alright, cool. You're close. And uh, is this yeah, that's midway through, so we can Well I do this quickly. The question is whether the bond of life on Nahida that is not getting cleared. Whether that will Okay. Dodge it. Okay, cool. Then we just use this and put this down and thanks. Cool. Cool. Oh my. Okay, cool. One, two, and take a. Wait, what? Okay. One, two, and cool. Alright, thanks. And can I. Ooh, okay. What? What? Okay. Stun. Okay, nice. Then we use this and. Try that again. Put that down and. For this. Cool. Cool. And. Oh, well, I, we can just kill. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Goodbye. Just. If you stay still, we will simply burst you down. There we go. And, well, we gotta feed some more artifacts to the hungry one. Cool. There we are. No, the flower right now. But, as cool as Hazo is, there's a little, uh, that's okay-ish. Nine. Question is what I'd be running him with. What weapon. What is crit? Is like an at? Okay, cool. So that'll be all for today. Go back somewhere to sit down. Okay. Cool. Two more of those native mats. Yeah, cool. Heal up, probably. Also, get this. Yeah. Level 43. A little bit more Mora. 
Let's go up. Go back to Fontaine City. Thank you, yeah. Sound of rocking to you. Maybe see you in a little over seven hours. I don't know. Should probably get some sleep. Goodbye, Sound of Ragon.